Hello everyone and welcome to Aboriginus. Aboriginus is a pixel platformer. It was recently released and it's apparently about a uh, tribal warrior having to save the world he's living on, which is a floating island you can see here. So it's, um, it's a retro platformer. I kind of like those games, as you probably know. So let's not waste any time and dive right into the game. Yes, I want to start a new game. Our land was a symbol of peace and harmony. My tribe lived in a unity with nature. No famine, no death. However, those days are gone. Tribes are in war. Animals have become aggressive. Dark times are coming. Enemy tribe attacked us. Making their way in the night, they kidnapped them and took, took to the south. Among the prisoners was my love. Shamans said that the enemy need them as sacrifice. Today the elder of the tribe sent the strongest man of our tribe to save them. They left early in the morning. I will follow them. I will save her. Okay, so here we are. We can jump and we can attack. Yeah, so movement is done with arrow keys, spear is done with Z, and the skill menu is open with this Q button. And it looks like I need to gain some experience before I can actually upgrade my stuff. So let's, let's get right into the game. So that was a checkpoint. Here again. Jumping over pits. And one thing I already like is that this game has a very good soundtrack. I mean, it's, it's very it's very catchy. It sounds very... I don't want to say tribal because it sounds kind of offensive, but it sounds very yeah, kind of naturalistic. There are several types of attacks. You should open them in skill menu to use. If you press Z, holding down, you will be use hidden attack. Be careful, some enemies ignore it. Okay. Ooh, stealth attack. So there's some sort of angry chicken on the other side, so let's waste. Wait until it's. Whoa! Okay, so it's. It's not even attacking me, so let's see how long that lasts. There we go. Whoa! So. Whoa! So. Snow. Whoa! This chicken might actually be killing me. There we go. And left some health good because I lost about half my health fighting that chicken or whatever that is so let's try that again it runs away after the first hit so I don't so yeah it's, it's really difficult to dodge enemies while fighting them but it seems I always get back some health after fighting them so I might as well do it so Let's try that hidden attack. Which did a lot more damage at least initially, so I guess that's useful. There's some health, and I wanted to take that after fighting that other chicken, but never mind. So yeah, we use the up button to jump. I'm not the biggest fan of that to be honest. I remember that from a lot of the 80s and 90s platformers, but I usually prefer to have the X button, the jump button, when the Z button is the attack button, but never mind. So let's open. So my level is still 1, so I need another 800 XP to advance to the second level. So so here's another checkpoint. How very convenient. Hmm. I wonder whether anything is down here. Probably not. I might just fall to my death. So, whoa, that one was already aggressive. How mean. Whoa. Th that chicken is possessed. I mean, just look at it. It's it's red eyes and everything. Wow. But it gave me 200 XP and a lot of health, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. So let's, let's jump over this pit. I like that there are clouds in the background. So that makes the world feel more alive. Let's quickly kill this murder chicken. Yeah, those metal chicks are actually easier than the other chickens because you can deal more hits to them before they deal hits to you. So let's explore the underground and kill this blue hedgehog which has a projectile attack. And it's also kind of easy to defeat, so... Yep, dodged that. That bird... Don't tell me I have to... Okay, that, that bird's almost killing me. So don't tell me I have to 
Oh, so I can't attack while jumping. That's not very convenient. So I'm pretty low on health. And unfortunately, the absolutely massive menu is covering parts of the screen. So let's kill. Let's kill this chicken by. Whoop! Level up. So what? Strength, physical heuristic. With, with upgrade, improve the damage and the amount of life. Level one, amount of maximum life, one hundred. Okay. So this is throwing weapon skill. On upgrade will be available new types of throwing weapons. Stone dagger, minor damage, boomerang, throwing weapon of medium strength. Cannot throw until it returns to the owner. Throwing X, strong throwing weapon. Okay. To use press X. So that costs, apparently that costs stamina. So can't just spam it. Agility, with upgrade, increased stamina, allowing longer use of stealth movement and stealth attack. If the enemies saw you, you will not hit critical. To use, hold the down arrow. To deal critical damage, press that button while holding down the down the down the whatever. Okay, so these skills are apparently still locked. I kind of want a ranged weapon, so let's choose this one here. Skill improved. Excellent. And it looks like all my skills improved. Or maybe Okay. I'm okay with that, so let's... Okay, so I can use this dagger, but there seems to be a cooldown. I can't just spam it. I guess it has to like travel an entire screen before I can actually use it. There's another one of those pesky birds. So let's wait until it has passed by. Here we go. Can I actually hit it with my ranged attack? Yes, I can. And it died in one hit. So let's... And these chicks are waiting for me. And is my guy wearing like a white mask or does it just look like it? And to be honest, it's kind of annoying that I can't attack while, while jumping. It's a little bit inconvenient. So, whoa. So let's, let's run away for now. Let's attack them. And let's just do this by button mashing. Whoa, I'm almost dead. But I got a lot of health from them, so it was actually worth it. So, let's be careful here. Ooh. So, let's be careful about this. Yeah, and that headshot guy almost deals almost no damage with its projectile attack, so I'm okay with that. Another one of those birds. So let's just try to avoid it. So I don't want to fall into that pit, so let's just climb all the way up. Yep, here we go. There's another chicken waiting for me. More button mashing. And let's kill that bird. Which turned into a lot of birds up and dying. I'm not really sure whether those bots will knock me down when I fall into a pit, so let's try to avoid that. Yes, fast platform isn't too bad, but considering that I'm probably going to die in one hit when I fall down and the last checkpoint is, is uh, quite was quite a while ago, so I probably want to avoid that. So let's uh, let's try and stay up here. It might be in like an easier, better road. So. That soundtrack is really catchy. I like that. That's a lot of hedgehogs. Mm, do I want to kill them? Yeah, I kind of do. Yep. Totally worth it. So much more XP do I need for a second level? Ooh. So, I'll, wait, I'm already level three? Okay. I didn't note that. Maybe I missed a pop-up, but well, there was no pop-up. So... Let's increase this skill again. Skill improved. Okay, so now I'm apparently improving a specific skill and not, not just... Not just any skill. 
Okay, so... Ooh, now I have that boomerang. Nice. And it would be really nice if you could actually reach that. Okay, so let's go all the way back. So now that those hedgehogs are gone, this small question of dexterity than actual difficulty. Because it doesn't look like I can actually die here. So let's do this. Still didn't really get used to using the up key for jumping. Maybe I can configure the keys later. So here we go. Let's kill that bird. And apparently well, there was a second bird. Okay. Or maybe that boomerang actually brought back that bird. Yep, one swift attack. Yeah, so far... Yep. Yeah. I can kill you from distance. You can do nothing. Evil chicken. Yeah, so far this game is not too difficult, but as I mentioned, last checkpoint was quite a while ago, so... I'm not going to... Not, go not going, going to say this game is too easy yet, and it, it's the first stage, so... This might get a lot harder later on. I can definitely see it getting a lot harder. But so far, this game is not as evil as Red Goblin Cursed Forest. That game got really difficult really fast. So... Yeah, the boomerang is a nice addition to your melee attack. So, here we go. Finally, another checkpoint. So, and I think I'm actually going to end the game here. So, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this game, leave a comment. Feel free to comment on this game, whether or not you like it. So far, I like it a lot. I like the graphics. It's ni nice pixel retro graphics. The soundtrack is very catchy and the story is basic, but it serves its purpose. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.